Oh, uh, we back. What up? Welcome to another episode of Halo Infinite Campaign. This is part eight. <laughs> Pelican down. And this is the other half of that first clip they showed when they were ramping up the uh, the promotion for this game. Are you even listening? I got three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. I'll be safe. Safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I yeah, we get it, dude. Home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. <laughs> I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Yeah, oh. Chief's like, dude, <laughs> we're not doing that, actually. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. Okay, big guy. Hmm. I like that. He's de-escalating the situation, which, you know, that's that was good. Nice work, Chief. <laughs> we got a tower over here, I think. All right. Yeah, so this is this is absolutely my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the game. Um, and my first playthrough of it, this was my first favorite part. When I got to this part, I was like, this is awesome. We're shot down. We have to, you know, protect our one guy that's at the helicopter, like Black Hawk Down style. Like, we're trying to get, get back to him. We have to go around and take out these cannons. We have specific missions. Like, I really like this part. So, this might be a longer episode, but I'm okay with it because I'm going to just dive in and have fun. So, come along with me. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. Right up here. This ring is a hand that cannot be. Oh. Got it. Bye, Propaganda Tower. I like that. It pushed him forward, but it didn't kill him. Gotcha! Alright. So I heard an alarm go off, and then they shut the door on me. So, that's fine. So. Oh, there's a grunt up there. from him. Dang it, he killed... Did he kill the... Oh, dang, I killed him. No, wait, I don't... I don't think I did. Dang. That sucks. I saved these guys, and they just... They, they ran right into the fight. Like, I'll give them credit for being brave, but... Guys, like... Should have stayed behind me. Yeah. 
of this, man. Like I said, just our ship crashed in the middle and surrounded by turrets and cannons, including that one, which we got to go destroy him right now. Snipers, where are they? Don't don't rush into death this time. <laughs> Got him. Nice. I like this gun, the commando. It doesn't uh it's 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 nice. <laughs> it's a nice gun. <laughs> yeah, up here shooting. Good night. <laughs> Sweet, we're just gonna go right up the middle path. Whoa! Good shot. Yikes. Who the f I was gonna say, who's got the shotgun? Annoying me. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, pick up another weapon. There you go. There we go. Oh, woo. We're on our last bullets. The mangler, nice. Don't ever give me a handgun, guys. What I tell you. Don't see him, but don't mean much. Where is he? Here we go again. There we go. Okay, so we found everything we're going to find for the most part. So, inside now. What's in the cannon? What's in the cannon? Plug me in and I'll take care of the cannon. They call this security, please. Hold tight. I'll handle it. Oh. The UNSC lost this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, hunted, defeated. We're not dead. Yeah, it's really weird, the thought process of we writing this game to me. Always. Where they're like, hey, we have Atriox, and he shows up and he just mops the floor with you in the beginning. And then it fast-forwards a few months, and then this guy's in charge. And you're like, uh, okay. Um, I haven't seen any of your accomplishments. I saw Atriox's accomplishments. So they've... This feels like one of those storytelling things that they teach you not to do, which is they teach you to show and don't tell, and this guy's just telling everything. 
and we're kind of seeing it in the game, like the aftermath, but you could have easily just said, this is Atriox. Just Atriox doesn't give long speeches. So, I could understand if this guy was like a the voice of Atriox, you know? Which he's trying to be, but Atriox should still be in the game, I feel. A true test of legends. Our story will only Because I'll be honest, like, Atriox, he's tough, no doubt about it. But he's a brute. Like, that doesn't scare me. Like, as all the things we've been up against in Halo, a very tough brute doesn't scare me. Um, not as much as a... Uh, a Cortana AI controlling guardians she did at the end of five. <laughs> that scared me a lot more. You'd know the answer to that one. I'm new, remember? Okay, I'm done here. All right, let's blow this thing up. So, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Like, I, nothing against Eshram. Seems like a he's a cool enough character. I just, I don't know. I exposed the gun's generator. Destroy it. Good. I feel like let's they could have done better. Start. Like with the story. Ooh. <laughs> One cannon down. Nice work, everyone. The banished are mobilizing in a big way. Clock's ticking, Chief. How much longer? All right. One gun down. Two more to go. We are running out of time. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. Be all right. Rebuild the ring. But why? Yeah, but they want different things with the rebuilt ring. So, they may seem like allies now, but they're just going to use each other. Some weapons. Good, good, good. Cool. You guys ready? I'm tempted to take that handgun. Give me the gun. Yeah, I'll be right back. Let me go see what's up here. Propaganda tower down. All right, everyone, get in. Let's hit the road. We're gonna go around the back way. I think I did that before. Are you gonna come with us, Marine? All right, she's glitched. She can catch up on foot if she wants. Use the gun, dude. There you go. Good job. Call me top forty, cause I'm bringing all the big hits. <laughs> okay. I guess they have a top forty in this area of space, <laughs> or top forties still exist like five hundred years from like now. We're being watched. Good job, top forties. Yeah, there's... Oh, there we go. Get him. There you go. Good shooting, man. Get him. Get him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Thank you. Oh. 
I was like, what happened to that first grenade? What's going on? I call shotgun. Oh, we're on fire. Oh, yeah. Gun, technically. Let's move, Marines. Yeah, get, there you go. I was going to say, if you get in the passenger seat, I'm going to punch you out. So if I'm not mistaken, there's something up here? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Dang, my... I'm surprised my memory is this well, because uh, cause I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I spent so much time, like, looking for this stuff. Maybe that's why it's stuck in my head. And I think there's something up there, too. I'll come back down, Marine. Let me just go see. that? Oxygen. Huh. Whoa! What's this thing? What's he making noises for? What is that thing? It's like an elite doll. Oh, and there's a sniper rifle on that rock. Is that what I came all the way up here for? No way. Okay. All right, Marine, I'm back. Let's get in this thing and hope it doesn't explode. Uh-oh. Marine? Marine? Here we go. Hi, guys. Oh, of course. Get out. Oh, they knocked the flames off of the car. That's cool. Is the vehicle brand new now? <laughs> what the heck just happened? I don't know, but I love it. Oh. Alright. Well, guess what? I got a sniper, too. This guy's going to be a pain in the butt. Step on it. Good. Got him. Bye. Did I get him? Oh, he's still there. Got him now. All right. All right. We got no bullets, so... Oh, whoa! Wheels missing. Well, at least one. All right. I think these guys are ready for us to invade, so... Let's not keep them waiting. going to trigger again, but don't worry, we'll be out of here in... How many Spartans remain? Do you even know? There this guy likes the sound of his own voice. At Laconia Station, maybe more such loss. Do you feel it in your Laconia. heart? Does it leave a hole? Necessary. I honor his memory each day. When our enemy rises, we meet their challenge. It is why I created the Hand of Atriox. I found the best, the cruelest, the most efficient killers in the universe, and taught them how to be better. 
Gotcha. So I may have misinterpreted his story a little bit, and it, what it sounds like right there is that maybe Atriox and his men came here, and they were the banished, and they attacked and everything, and that Esherim was someone who trained Atriox? Even though I read the comic book and saw his backstory in Halo Wars 2, and I don't know. can't remember. I don't remember that too well. Not saying it's, you know, you know, not true. Obviously, it's canon, but I just. Ooh. Nice. I love those fireworks. Um. Well, okay, let's say Atriox came here, he disappeared, there was Banish left down here fighting Spartans, and then Eshram was like, we gotta go and find Atriox, and maybe he brought more killers here? Because when he's like, I picked the, the cruelest, the, the, the most evil, and it's like, when? Like, a after Atriox went missing, you put together the cruelest that were here on this ring? You actually went out in the universe and collected people, like more Covenant slash Banished. Sending a Spartan killer? <sighs> Chief, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. We gotta get out of here. We've gotta move. Not yet. Yeah, we got one gun Full left. Position. When this goes bad, it's on you, Chief. Remember that. And then there's. We're over there, you know, crashed. And we gotta get there. But once we do that, I think we fight Hyperius and his uh, brother, the twins. I call them. And it's cool, there's action figures of them from the World of Halo figures, and, and they are awesome. But yeah, so I, mean, I don't know, maybe I'm misinterpreting Eshram's importance a little bit, but still, it's just like he... In this game, he just feels like he comes out of nowhere. I was all ready for Atriox, because that's what the beginning you know, sets up. And Atriox, I feel, is responsible, for, and his men are responsible for most of the victories down here. So when Eshram's like, yeah, you know, like... I picked the baddest and the cruelest, and, and we are the hand of Atriox, and we, and it's like, you know, alright, but you picked the baddest and the cruelest from the, the banished that were already here, because they were already the baddest and the cruelest. You, you probably only weeded out, like, the ones that died, <laughs> they weeded themselves out. So, I don't know, I, I... There's obviously more to the story, and I'll have to go back and listen to the, the logs again that you find, because um, I know those help fill in the gaps. But if anyone in the comments who's watching these, if, if you you know know the answers to some of these questions I'm asking, like you know, feel free to feel free to let me know. Yeah, I just take the scenic routes mostly. I just like this area a lot, and honestly, I th I think I've gotten this is. I got through this pretty quickly. I mean, I know we're not done done yet, but still, like, getting to this third cannon. I remember the first time I played this, I think I was playing for, like, two or three hours, like, just running around this island. I was having a lot of fun, though, and I was checking every nook and cranny, so that obviously, you know, we're not doing that this time, so. So that's saving us some time. Oh, hi. Can I get it out of there? I think I pushed it too far. If I can get it out. Yeah! Dude. Driving skills are impeccable. I right, gotta go in that cave and... Wait, is this where the hunters are? Oh, yeah. Kill one of them. Ooh, get out. Yep, go, go, go. Ooh. 
All right, we killed one. <laughs> Get it. There we go. Last gun open. Let's go fire it. Yeah, that so wasn't hard at all. Straight. It's okay for you to make jokes. Correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I'm pretty good at it because I have a dry sense of humor, and that's always just funnier in most cases. Me a handgun. Last cannon. Last one. And cue the lockdown. Nope. Huh. Made you look. No, Escherum? I'm almost disappointed. I kind of like that. Like, even Escherum, maybe in this instance, is like. Almost. All, set. All right, like <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna send Hyperius and the twin. You know, I'm gonna send the twins. See if we can get a view of this. Position. We're on our way. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chief. I can't stay. I've lost his signal. Yeah, look. If the Spartan killers find him, that won't happen. Don't How worry. We're gonna go sure? get him. Because they'll need to go through me first. That's correct. What's this? Oh, accuracy is really good. That might be the the two twin brute guys. Chief, we've got Where is everyone? Well, a lot. See that chopper? I guess that's one of the Spartan killers. And there's the other one. Up there in the wreckage. You need to stop them.
still alive. I'm kind of like a cockroach in that regard, I guess. Got him. Wow. Holy cow. Will you? Because I have a rocket launcher and I'm ready. Where are you, dude? Oh, he's way over there. Let's go find the giant idiot. There he goes. Kill him? That wasn't easy, was it? Uh, that what was actually easy. <laughs> Did I? That's he got he stuck in here? Nothing. But I think Where I is he? Can... Yes. Oh, there he is. Comms are still offline, but I was able to activate his tracking beacon remotely. I think that's him. He's out in the open. Dude, we exploded the living him. hell out of him. I hope he's okay. Oh crap! <laughs> No ammo. That's good times. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. Nice job, dude. <laughs> Look at him. Grab some. Oh, he went in here to hide, right? Okay. My eyes didn't deceive me back there. We need to go. Three. You and see condors. Seeing one is rare. Finding three? It's a miracle. Dude, that's awesome. Have known better. It all so. apart. Completely. Yeah, they gutted it. him, dude. Sleep space drives obliterated. We don't no have way the out. time. Over there's another. Shattered and cratered over So he actually went out and looked on his own and In there. His hope is the last one. fading. All of it. Crushed. Broken, beaten, useless. Enough. When? When is it enough, Chief? When we're in there? Because that's where I belong. In there, with them. Worthless junk. Not this. I'm not you. I'm not a pilot. I'm not even a soldier, a marine. Oh, fraud. I stole that pelican. I stole it. Do you know he's why? Just a, he's a mechanic, not just, but he's, I think he's a mechanic. Of course you don't. Have you ever been scared? So scared that you... Yeah, it's it's. This is another reason why this area was my favorite too. Is this confession here? This says a lot about this character and and the the fear and regret he has. Like it it defines him. You should leave me here with the rest of the carpets. But Chief still sees value in him. This is the guy that saved Chief all after all. Mistakes. Floating in space. It's what makes us human. I'm sorry, Chief, but how have you ever failed? You kidding? I should have protected Cortana. Stopped everything from going wrong. I failed her. I will not fail you. Chief. Yeah, I really... Wait. We're going to make it. I... We have to. I like this... Confession of Chiefs, too, where he it also feels regret. It makes him a character. Like, I, I like him in the first three games, the 3 4 3 game. I mean, the, the Bungie games. I really like him in those because he's just like a very tactical, blunt object. He's like Batman, you know, he's just like, he's the badass. 
But in f I feel like in 4, 5, and 6, even though I'm critical of parts of the story, I feel like they actually, you know, it makes sense that he would be a little bit more tap into that human emotion side more after the events of 1, 2, and 3. That's why I don't like the show too much. What's the plan? Where they're like, oh, we took this chip out of your brain, and now you're just, you feel things, and it's like, ah, it's too simple. Like, it has to feel earned, and unfortunately, you have to go through that period where Chief is just a blunt object, um, but a, a smart one and a likable one, to get him to this point where you, where he feels and you feel. So I, re I really like that, personally. I think they did a good job putting all that together with him and... There they are. So he is there on his armor there. He had the Spartan lock helmet. Deploy your army. Descend upon him. No, odds will not break him. The Spartan is not alone. There is something here helping him, connected to this installation. What is it? It's remarkably vulnerable. But highly intelligent. Is it a weakness? Something to exploit? We will see. The Reformation is. And this whole thing where it's like Sandman and Venom in Spider Man 3 it teaming up, it, that's what this feels like to me. <laughs> where it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you kind of have a common enemy, but it just feels. Uh, I don't think this story needed the Harbinger or the setup of the Endless just yet. When the endless are um, found, and when you have your and there's a part of me that's glad this game is called Halo Infinite because maybe they can make a Halo and Six, and Halo judgment. Six can tell the ending of Cortana or at least a big battle that leads to this. Because like I said, this feels like a seven to me. This feels like all right, we're setting up a new trilogy um, with Esherim, Atriox, the Endless, and Harbinger. Bring Check me out. the Master Chief. <sighs> and my inhaler. <laughs> oh boy. Ready when you are, Chief. I'm ready. Thank you all for watching this episode. We are right back where we started, and I know this was probably a longer one, depending on the edit, but I just really like this part of the game, Pelican Down. It's really cool, and I'm glad I got to go through it, and I'm surprised we went through it as fast as we did, um, even though it's probably still a long episode. So stay tuned. Come back for the next episode where we will jump on this ship and head to our new mission called The Sequence. Peace. <laughs>